New developments in a story we first brought you on Sunday. A man accused of using a baseball bat to kill his girlfriend. Brutal crime following the news that Paul Ramirez had removed an ankle monitor he was supposed to be wearing. The victim's family says police were told the night of the murder that Ramirez was wanted for violating parole and threatening his girlfriend but did not respond. Channel 2's Phil Archer has more from Houston Police Headquarters. Phil, uh, Chief Acevedo is well known for being against these ankle monitors because they're so easily removed. That's correct. Uh, what we know about this is that the victim, 60-year-old Charlene Cadwell, called Houston police the night of the killing. Her sister said she called several times, but that help never arrived. Parolee Paul Ramirez was a wanted man the night he allegedly beat Carlene Cadwell to death with a baseball bat. A warrant had been issued by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice for his arrest more than a month earlier. That was after he cut off the ankle monitor he was forced to wear as a condition of his parole. In July, two other parolees, Jose Rodriguez and Gary Jenkins, did the same thing and allegedly went on to murder a total of four people. Andy Kahn with Crime Stoppers says it shows the current system of policing parolees is broken. Issuing a warrant is great. Following up to see that the proper authorities are given notice would probably be more prudent. But in Carlene Cadwell's death, Houston police apparently were told there was a warrant for Ramirez and that he was threatening Cadwell. She made him leave again, and then she called the cops. And uh, no cop showed up, though. Cadwell's sister was with her at her house that night. Patrice Erickson says Ramirez was enraged because Cadwell had kicked him out earlier in the evening and that he returned several times to threaten Cadwell and demand to be let in. He was screaming at the top of his lungs that like you should not with me and he kept saying that over and over again. Erickson says her sister called Houston police three times that night telling them Ramirez was wanted for parole violations and asking for help but that no patrol car ever arrived. And then the last time when he broke in the window he chased her out the house with a baseball bat and that's when he started beating her with the baseball bat. Houston police confirmed today that at least three calls were received from Cadwell the night she died. They're still trying to determine if any officers were dispatched to make contact with her and if there was a warrant for Ramirez in the system at the time. Reporting live at police headquarters, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.